It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in Aldi recently and I picked up a bottle of their, well, their fake Stella Artois. Look at the two brandings there. Here's the real bottle. Here's the fake version. They've even gone to the, the extent Aldi. They're very, very clever with their branding, Aldi. Really clever with it. So you've got the two neck sleeves here. Both of them got gold writing, but Aldi have done just enough to make you realise it's a Stella Artois clone, but not too close as for Stella Artois to want to sue them. Very clever. It's just enough away, just enough of a difference. So you've got gold, large gold writing on the Aldi fake Stella, and then you've got small gold writing on the actual Stella. Paper neck that goes to the top, and that's just got a kind of paper neck that, that's more of a traditional paper neck. And then we have the red labels here. Stella Artois, well, we all know what that looks like. Belgium, Anno 1366. The Horn Brewery, by the way. It used to be called the Horn Brewery before uh, they named the whole brewery after their most successful beer, Stella Artois. And then this is St. Etienne Premium Lager Beer. Now, St. Etienne has a sort of French stroke Belgian sound to it, doesn't it? So if Aldi were challenged on this, they would say, well, no, no, this is, this is just our version of a French lager. But it's enough of a stretch that you could think St. Etienne, yes, st stroke kind of France, Belgium border, if you like. Um, the ABVs, interestingly enough, uh, first of all, this is a 500 ml bottle and this bottle is a 660 litre bottle on the Stella, 500 ml on the Aldi fake Stella. The ABV is 4.8% on the St. Etienne. And I think that's really interesting because they've been brewing this beer for a while. And Stella Artois used to be 4.8% ABV. It has now changed. Remarkably, it's changed to 4.6% ABV. I remember Stella not so long ago when it was 5.2% ABV. Then they dropped it to 5. Then they dropped it to 4.8. That's when this beer was brewed by Aldi. Now it's 4.6. So what I'll be interested in seeing over the next few months is whether the ABV of the St. Etienne gets adjusted to 4.6% ABV. So anyway, let's get these beers out open. We have slightly different bottle caps as well. We've got a gold bottle cap on the Stella, plain ball gold bottle cap, and then you've got our St. Etienne bottle cap on the St Etienne, which is again, it's enough to say this is nothing to do with Stella, which is what Aldi want. So let's get the real thing open first then. <clears throat> I must say at this stage of the beer review, if you have the opportunity, if you haven't yet, to try Stella Unfiltered, then please try Stella Unfiltered because I think it's a really it's a really decent lager. Personally, it's much better than the original Stella. One last thing as well, they're both in green glass bottles, and that's just reminded me because I've just poured the beer and it's like it's you can smell the skunk. You can smell the skunkiness of this Stella Artois lager from this distance. Opening the Aldi fake Stella then, giving it a pour. And here are the two beers. Ooh, 
One's got a widget, one hasn't. But I wanted to use tall glasses for this. I don't have the Stella goblets. I don't drink enough Stella to have the Stella goblets. To, those Belgian chamfered lovely glasses. I don't have them. But colour wise it's almost exactly the same. I'm just going to wipe the condensation from this Aldi beer. Look at it. It's more or less exactly the same. A little bit more carbonation coming from the real Stella. That's because there's a widget in the how Hop House 13 glass. But yeah, clear, light, golden, three finger head on the Stella, two finger head on the Aldi beer. That would probably be the same if it didn't have a widget in the bottom of this glass. So aromas, let's go with the weaker, lower ABV Stella Artois. It's a bit skunky, it's a bit... It's a little bit of, maybe a little bit of lemon at a stretch. A little bit of a hoppiness coming through. Ooh. It doesn't smell great. It's not a beer that you grab and you, and you get the aroma and you go, oh, that smells delicious. It smells like a really cheap lager. Now for the Saint Etienne. It smells a little bit better. You're getting a little bit more light, crispy malts coming through on the Saint Etienne from Aldi. A little bit more of a light, crisp malt. Less hoppy. It's not as kind of, it's not as skunky either. Less of a hoppiness. It actually smells better than Stella. Um, price wise, uh, the I actually bought the big bottle in Lidl. Of uh, I bought the bottle of Stella in Lidl. It was about one pound sixty. This, on the other hand, from Aldi was one pound twenty a bottle. The Saint Etienne. <clears throat> so let's get into the Stella then. Here we go. Oh. It starts off okay. It starts off pretty decent, actually. It's like, mmm, this is nice. And then there's this awful, awful, bitter, skunky, metallic aftertaste. It really is a terrible beer. Um, much prefer the Stella Artois and Filter. I find that much more drinkable much more palatable this is whoa terrible oh wow that is almost rancid that is almost rancid that is almost like Drinking something from under your kitchen cupboard, under your sink cupboard. This is like under the sink cupboard. It's terrible, terrible beer. Oh. It's a little bit crisp and clean. A little bit of nice carbonation comes through, but then after that, it's just, it's almost, it's like insipid. It's like aggressive in all of the wrong ways. Now, I've been to the Stella Artois Brewery in Leuven in Belgium. I've stood on the roof and drunk a glass of Stella, and it was a beautiful pint of beer. It really was. Brewed at the brewery. Us, there was about 15 bloggers from around the world who were invited to Stella Artois. And whether they produced some small batch beer for us, some small batch Stella Artois, which we doubt, which I doubt. Because the Stella in Belgium 
knocks socks off this. It knocks socks off it. For a start, in Belgium, or at least when I was there about five or six years ago, Stella Artois was in brown bottle. It wasn't in this kind of skunky green glass bottle. It was in a brown bottle and people used to drink it. It won the best sold as the other lager that Stella produced. I'll come to my mind in a moment. Um, it's another Belgian beer that, that, that is brewed at the Stella Artois Brewery in Leuven in Belgium, in Brussels. That area, it sells very, very well. Maybe that beer will come to me in a moment, but we're not here to talk about that beer, hence why I can't remember it. For me, that's almost undrinkable. In fact, I probably won't be finishing the rest of that bottle. Um, it really isn't for me. Cheaper. Aldi, St. Etienne. Interestingly as well, it says product of France on the back of the bottle. So, um, again, they're going with that French stroke Belgian theme as to not get sued by Stella Artois. AB InBev. Now I remember drinking this, reviewing this when I did that whole supermarket lager test I did a few months ago. If you haven't watched this, worth a watch. And I remember putting this up, up against other supermarket lagers, not really liking it that much. But compared to Stella, this is night and day, night and day a better beer. You get a lot more crisp malt flavour coming through. You get a little bit more of the hoppiness coming through. I described it as skunky last time, but again, versus Stella, versus how skunky that beer is. I'm not really getting any skunkiness whatsoever. This is a far superior beer, and it's probably cheaper per litre. I mean, if you guys can do the maths, the Stella's a 660 milliliter bottle for £1.60 I paid. This is 500 milliliters. So you're losing 160 milliliters, but you're paying £1.20 for the beer. So, of course, as of September 2022, if you're watching this in a few years' time, the prices may have gone up exponentially. But... A much better beer from Aldi. And I didn't really like it in that taste test. Not really getting any skunkiness at all. There's a little bit there. Now, I've had a few tastes. Now my palate has adjusted a little bit. But yeah, um, Aldi's beer wins hands down. Absolutely hands down, Aldi's beer wins. So, Stella Artois. Stella Artois for me, in its British form, the beer that's brewed in the UK, I believe, I believe that it's brewed in Mega in Newport, South Wales. For me, it's undrinkable. British Stella, regular, not unfiltered, regular British Stella at 4.6% ABV is nigh on undrinkable for me. Undrinkable. It's a, it's a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10. The Aldi St. Etienne Premium Lager Beer. The rip-off version. Night and day. Night and day a better beer. It's not great, but it's night and day better than Stella. It's a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Um... Can Stella Artois, can AB InBev do anything? This is meant to be their premium brand. This is meant to be their top end beer, Stella Artois. I cannot understand for the life of me why 
they've decided to go down this ruinous path with this beer. Put it in a brown bottle, A.B. and Bev, for goodness sake. Get rid of that skunkiness. And the metallic taste is unbearable. Unbearable, an awful metallic taste. If you're watching in Belgium, get on the phone to that mega plant in South Wales and ask them what on earth are they doing down there with that beer? Because it's ruining, it is absolutely ruining your reputation. It's probably getting to the point where it may be unrecoverable in the UK. If you think of other brands like Beer and Moretti, Corona, Peroni, Madri, it's all better beer and it's all in brown and Peroni. It's all in brown glass bottles. They seem to kind of understand. They seem to know a little bit what they're doing. Comment in the comments box. Give me your thoughts on this. Um, dreadful. Dreadful from Stella. This. Dreadful from AB and Bev from the Mega Plant. If it is indeed brewed in the Mega Plant, I believe it is. Um, the Aldi stuff is, is, is far better um, for your money. Um, please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.